What is open theism? Open theism is the theological term for the doctrine of an open future. The idea that God's view and plans for the future are not fixed except for those things he has declared will take place. It is an open future. To all supporting the doctrine of unconditional predestination, therefore, open theism can readily be seen as anathema, a denounced doctrine, and completely foreign. If salvation is a fixed event for those God has chosen to save, then he already knows all who will be saved, and the future is totally mapped out. God's knowledge of future events is closed. It is all already decided. This closed system is commonly known as Calvinism. If the scripture, the Bible, is the source of truth for doctrine for a Christian, then either open theism is true or Calvinism is true. So which is it? 1 Samuel 13.13 13, is a passage that makes it impossible to see the future as fixed. And Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. For now the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now your kingdom shall not continue. Let's retake that. God chose Saul to be the king over Israel. After Saul rebelled, God says to him, I would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now, your kingdom shall not continue. So, either God would have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever, or God would not have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever. That's quite straightforward, isn't it? You would have thought so. So what do Calvinists say to this? Calvinists have said God says this conditionally, but that he knew that Saul would rebel, as he had already planned for King David to be on the throne. So what they're really saying is, God would not have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever. What does God say? He would have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever. Now, if it is a condition, then it is not a true condition if it is not possible. And if it is not possible, then it is not a condition. The Calvinist believes no one is able to do good or to turn to God without God enabling the person to do this. So, if a person cannot do something, it is because God chose that person to do and remain in the state they are born in. There is no choice in the matter for the person concerned, as they are disabled from doing otherwise without God's aid. So there is nothing conditional here, is there? Of course not. In Calvinism, God's aid is limited to his plans and what he has decided. John Calvin says it like this. What we must prove is that single events are ordered by God and that every event comes from his intended will. Nothing happens by chance. Creatures are so governed by the secret counsel of God that nothing happens but what he has knowingly and willingly decreed. So there is nothing conditional in the Calvinist doctrine whatsoever. To the Calvinist, since King David came to the throne after King Saul, then it is evident that this was what God planned from the beginning. But 1 Samuel 13.13 13 proves that God had no plan for David to be king, for it to be a true statement at all. Remember, either God would have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever, or God would not have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever. And God says that he would have. 
Calvinist belief, full of texts out of context, does not make it easy to read 1 Samuel 13.13 13 at face value. They will quote, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times things not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will accomplish all my purpose. God declares the end from the beginning. Seems pretty clear, doesn't it? Yes, if understood that God has all ends in view. But it is only the end that he declares in view here. God never declared Saul would be king over Israel forever, only that he would have been. As God had up to that point, no other plan for the kingdom. Another passage then brought up is, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son a man that he should repent. See, they say, it is written, God never changes his mind. But again, this is out of context, for the rest of verse 19 says, Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? In both Isaiah 46 and Numbers 23, what is in view is what God has already declared. But God does not declare everything. Just as he did not declare beforehand that he would have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever, it was evidently in his thinking, as Samuel mentions it, but it was never uttered until Saul lost it. It is mainly in these undeclared things that the future is open. So, let me finish by asking you, do you believe God would have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever? Or, do you believe God would not have established Saul's kingdom over Israel forever? Conclusion God would have is proof positive that open theism is taught in the Bible. For now, the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever.